It's been a while since I've done this joke. Okay, let's start the usual content. Now I'm ready. Hey guys, in the next couple of weeks you're going to see a little bit of uh, Shelly content, mostly because they've sent me a bunch of new devices and I'm eager to talk about them. But first we need to revisit one of the older devices that's been in my shelf for ages and I'm only now kind of appreciating the Shelly Pro 4PM for what it is and for what I can do with it. If you visit the Shelly website or following me for a long time, you probably figure out that PM in the name of that Shelly device stands for power monitor and 4 stands for number of channels that it can monitor and control. And that's what it is. It's a very nice compact uh, device that is capable of controlling 4 different channels, 4 different relays, up to 10 amp each and measuring not the total power consumption but the power consumption of individual channels. So it's quite interesting. And what is the specific use case scenario I'm thinking about? Well, I've cleared a garage recently and one of the reasons for doing so was to make some space for my 3D printing enclosures. Now, while the enclosures aren't ready, I need to power all the 3D printers and have the ability to actually, you know, control them from afar. And I already have a printer manager deployed, which is basically a small Shelly device hidden inside a 3D printer. You can read all about it in here. And it's actually using power meter or power enabled Shelly devices for that specific reason. But I think it's going to be much better if I'm just going to replace individual devices with a single device with the ability to control up to four printers. So Shelly Pro refers to much more industry orientated, bigger rail mountable relay, which obviously you can repurpose for home automation, and it comes with a neat display for quick glance. Now it's not just Wi-Fi because actually this Shelly device is also equipped in Ethernet, so you'll be able to hardwire it and run it this way, which means you're not going to complain about Wi-Fi coverage. And after reviewing Sonoff's POW Elite series. I do appreciate having a screen in there, however you'll have to give it to Shelly that I actually they beating the Elite series out of the water with their form factor because this device considering that it has four channels it's actually pretty small. Unfortunately you'll have to pay pretty penny for that because Shelly costs 89 euros VAT not included so if you're just planning to power a single device that's gonna be a very expensive setup. However, if you divide that cost by 4, which is coincidentally the number of relays available, it's actually not that bad of a deal. So to follow my typical format of these videos, before we're gonna get started with this device itself, I think it's time to take a look inside. From the product description page already knew it uses Bluetooth as well, which is a giveaway that we are expected to see ESP32 inside. And to the surprise of absolutely no one, there is a ESP32 inside. But the overall construction of the device is quite interesting, with the device split into three PCBs stuck on top of each other. It's actually very easy to get into it, just be careful when disconnecting a LCD display so you don't break that ribbon. Unlike with other Shelly devices, especially the Shelly small relays, there are no extra GPL pins. I don't personally mind this as Shelly Cloud has options for all of you DIYers and I'll gonna cover them in a second, so I don't think they are necessary in this scenario. Individual relays are rated for 16 amps per channel, however the unit comes with a current limit of 40 amps per all four channels, which means you'll be able to toggle up to 10 amps per channel if you're using all four channels, which is to be honest plenty. It's definitely enough to run all of my printers at once and this is what I'm concerned about. Now that we know what's inside, let's take a closer look at the device and hookup guide. I have to come to my first negative conclusion. There is not enough of terminals, which means we'll have to use Wago terminals to split it up. I do understand that the DIN rails can accommodate for that with uh, various breakout terminals, etc. However, I would like to see a device in this form factor having enough terminals just to simply plug in all the wires without splitting it. And I am aware that this device allows you to actually fit individual 
physical switches to toggle individual channels as well as connecting all the relays and uh, monitoring the power but still they could just make it slightly bigger and accommodate for that option it would be really really nice and while I'm complaining, we'll have to talk about the display because it's very dim. Now, if you're gonna have Shelly Pro 4 p.m. in a bright environment, you'll have extremely hard time reading from the display. Now, another thing is, while all the information is there, it's kind of laid out like for a touch screen interface, which is slightly misleading because it is not a touch screen and you have to use the buttons to operate. It's not a big issue, but yeah, <laughs> At this point I really wanted to touch the menu and I was surprised that nothing happened and then I realized yeah, just use the buttons. And I understand I'm nitpicking in here because if it's really bright I can just open the mobile app and check exactly the same values in the Shelly Cloud app but it would be nice to have a slightly brighter display to accommodate for the fact that this device might not be actually hidden in a basement. I mean for my use case it's gonna be in a garage so it's not going to be a problem. Other than that, the pairing and connectivity is always brilliant with Shelly. It works first time around and I had no problem setting everything up. Now, once operational, I was able to toggle the light bulb using the physical switch, using the menu on the relay and obviously the app. Now, Shelly integrates with 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. You can use Bluetooth or you can create a P point from the Shelly itself in case you don't have any wireless connectivity in the area that you're planning to use it, which is very handy, especially for some remote deployments. And I already mentioned the existence of a 100 megabit Ethernet connection, which is plenty to take advantage of and start using Shelly. Now, where it gets interesting is obviously the app. Now, the app isn't mandatory because the Shelly comes with its own web interface and you'll be able to access it by simply typing it device IP and, well, using the web interface to read out all the values or setting settings, uh, monitoring the power and applying special options. And as usual, there are plenty to talk about. So let's start with data monitoring. You'll quickly notice that in the Shelly app, the Shelly Pro 4PM shows up as four individual devices, which is quite handy if you want to repurpose them for different uh, scenarios. Now, individual cards will show you the current power consumption, and once you open it, you also see the graph, which is updated every hour. It is unfortunate that this is the minimum update frequency, but they will give you a value in watt or hours for every hour, and that will give you a breakdown of how much electricity wherever is connected to that relay is using. Unfortunately, if you want to harvest more granular information, then you'll have to do it yourself. And I'll have a couple of suggestions how to do it, especially using Node-RED, Grafana and Influx database. So check out this video there if you want to get started with that. If you dive in into settings, you'll notice the usual, starting with timers, schedules and different settings for the wall switch activation, which is handy if you don't have just the usual toggle. But where Shelly firmware and the cloud really shines, is the actual ability of making all of this local so the cloud is really optional. If you are confident DIY automation fun, you can take advantage of REST API uh, or MQTT. There are even webhooks that can be triggered, multiple webhooks that can be triggered. So you can send a specific webhook to your home assistant instance on Node-RED and notify it that something happened with your device without actually you know, messing too much with the firmware itself. This is why Shelly is one of the popular choices when it comes to DIY automation because unlike some of devices, it doesn't really need to be flashed with anything to integrate with DIY systems and this is what's usually worth paying extra for. But if you are not interested in that and you just want to connect that to your typical cloud from Google Home or Alexa, relevant skills allow you to interact with voice commands and you have that covered. The bottom line is Shelly Pro 4PM is a really nice device, but it's also expensive if you're not going to take advantage of all four channels. So when considering it, make sure that you have the utility needed to take advantage of every individual channel, otherwise you'll be overpaying and selecting other devices like other Shelly devices or a son of POW Elite might be a more budget-friendly option for you. I know what I'm going to use my Shelly Pro 4PM for, but what other use cases you could come up with? Let me know in the comment section to this video. 
and as usual in the description of this video you're gonna find all information about the product itself, links to the shop, links to the write-up itself if you prefer to read about it rather than watching a video and as for now guys um, I do not have a posting schedule so if you want to know more about that uh, Shelly uh, motion sensor and the new Sherry temperature and humidity sensor then you know how YouTube works I'm not going to explain you all that but uh, I do have a list of social media listed there pick one that interests you most follow me there and start a conversation as for now thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time take care bye